welcome back to a brand new episode of Hermitcraft Season 4 with me, False Symmetry. And today, we are over here on top of the jellyfish, but don't worry, we're not going to be hanging out here for too long today. We're actually going to be heading over to our shop. Now, which, which shop in particular, I hear you ask? We're going to be heading over to our build for hire, because we do indeed actually have... A build that we need to be doing today for someone of which we have just gone past where we're meant to be working. So we're flying on the way over here and we need to head into this shop right in front of us here. So let's land and take a look at what we have in store today. So if I head down, we will go and see what we've got. Now I have already technically had a little bit of a sneak peek at what we have to do so that I am prepared for this episode. But we have a decor help by Tinfoil Chef. So he obviously wants some help. And let's take a look. So it says interior decorating services would be most appreciated at the saloon in Orange District near the portal. The overall theme should fit 1880s Texas saloon. Thanks. Awesome, man. Well, that is pretty cool. I'll leave that in there. And yeah, that's something that I definitely think I can do. So if you guys remember the last season, I actually helped out Tango and Impulse over at their base. Basically, in their main base area, they had four corners to different themes. And one of the themes was a Texas saloon kind of deal. And I did a little bit decorating around there. So it's something I know a little bit about, not something I've built otherwise. But we're actually going to be heading over to the saloon now to take a look at what we have in store. And we will see and start planning what we actually want to do with it because it is a fairly big area to fill. Uh, and I obviously want to make it look as nice as possible and get it done for TFC as soon as possible. Uh, so let's head over there and I'll catch you guys over there to take a look at it. So I've just landed at the Orange District. It's the Entertainment Gaming and Gambling, so that makes sense. I believe he's got some kind of poker table uh, redstone device thingy in here, perhaps. Some kind of card sorter, I believe he mentioned to me. And this is it. This is his saloon, which obviously he hasn't finished as of yet, but I think he's finished most of the redstone. But as we come in here, we can see he's got some tables and chairs on this side. He's got a little bit of a bar thing going on over here. And then I believe there is also a downstairs area. That little like doorway up there is actually for employees only. So this is the poker table, which I'm not really going to touch too much. I might tweak a little bit. I think I might just change maybe the birch out to something a little bit darker. Because I'm going to bring in some darker woods rather than some lighter woods. Because I feel like that's going to work better for a, a dark, dingy kind of Texas saloon kind of deal. Since uh, lighting wouldn't have been something that they had an awful lot of. I know that he mentioned oil lamps in his video. But I don't think I can come up with a design for an oil lamp that won't be a massive thing uh, to put on the wall. So I think we're going to mostly be using torches like he has. Um, and yeah, so there's one thing I know that I need to not touch, which is this. Because I believe derp have something to do with what might be going in here. So we won't be touching that at all. We will, however, be moving and uh, just mostly changing things around. So this is also... A little bit of maybe a bar over here possibly I'm thinking a bar downstairs and a bar upstairs might be quite nice where he's placed them this area here is meant to be a storage area and I believe I'm probably gonna move this out and put something else here not quite decided what yet but maybe something a little bit uh, more to do with the theme perhaps and everything else is gonna look pretty cool I might add a little entertainment area over in that corner I think that's kind of all I've got for a plan as of yet, but it's mostly detail and things on the wall is what we need going on, because otherwise it is a little bit plain. But yes, it's looking awesome so far, but we're going to kind of add our own twist to it. We're going to add a bar here and do all the other things that I believe TS TFC will like and want in this area. So I'm going to get my stuff together, we're going to get some chests in the area, and we will uh, start decorating. So the bar and that might not be open as of yet, but we do seem to have our first customer. TFC's not even on here yet, man. It's not open properly. How dare you come along and try and destroy things? That's just rude, man. That's just rude. I'm trying to build on this, not destroy it and take it down. There we go. Okay, so I've got all my stuff over here, mostly all in this chest. So this, I believe, should be the majority, if not all, of the stuff we will need. 
I'm hoping anyway. So I wanted to walk you through a little bit of my thought process with this um, area before I went ahead and started building and doing a time lapse or whatever. And the first thing is structure because there's one thing that kind of makes these rooms not very kind of structured and that is not having any kind of corner pillars or anything like that. So I'm going to place these in. I'm probably going to end up moving these or something. But I wanted to kind of just show you guys, and I do want one in the middle somewhere. I'm not sure if that's where it's meant to go. Uh, we will soon find out, I'm sure. But yeah, we definitely need some kind of structure going on. And even even by adding that, it just kind of makes the, the room have some kind of shape. Um, it's hard to explain, it's hard to explain. But you guys will understand when I start adding that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add the basics in here. We're going to remove the chairs and tables from this side because they're kind of spread out too much, I think. We're going to try and kind of focus them in this little area here, perhaps to this side, and leave this area in this corner open for an entertainment area. We're also going to take down these shelves here, and we're going to use pretty much only wood in the area. We're not going to try it. We're going to try and keep just to wood only, which... I find quite difficult, but since the floor is wood, the ceiling's wood, the walls are wood, we're going to keep it into that theme. So I think that maybe nether brick isn't quite in the right place right here. But we're going to take out this bar, we're going to put it back exactly the same place, but we're going to kind of update it a little bit towards the uh, the more wooden theme, I think, and that'll be pretty cool. So I'm going to do that, do as minimum as possible, just to show you guys what I mean. And uh, let's hope that this looks pretty funky. I think it will. And we'll give the room a bit more structure and maybe a different level perhaps as well. I think we can definitely, since the ceiling is quite high, add an extra floor perhaps. Who knows? Who knows? Well, <laughs> that just looks like we've got some weird ghost, ghost shelves. I didn't realise these guys actually just kind of stood up there. Also, oh, I didn't realise he actually had drinks in them. Oh, no. Oh, sorry, TFC, I'm removing them. Oh, no. Now they're going to just explode everywhere. Okay, well, I guess I'll put these in a chest for him so he can get them back. So I feel really bad doing this. Now, I didn't realise they had drinks in. Dang it, I totally forgot that, that that's how they look with drinks in. Dang it. Oopsie. Well, yeah, at least hopefully it'll look better. We'll see. <laughs> well, I have no idea how they spurted out here, but... Okay, whatever you say so, Minecraft. How odd. <laughs> I was out here just a second ago admiring this beautiful view and got distracted completely by Zuma being slain by the wither just there. That that doesn't sound very good, doesn't sound very good at all. But anyway, uh, I thought I would show you guys before I went on and did too much of the detail kind of stuff and uh, show you guys what's up here. So, uh, I've added a bar exactly, exactly where TFC had it. I've added the structure beams. I've added some fence posts which also add to the structure and, and make it seem like the room's actually being held up a lot better. And then this little area over here which is the entertainment band slash piano area. I'm probably going to put the piano right there I think is what I'm going to do. And that will be pretty awesome I think. So, oh, as soon as Rage quitting. Uh, okay. <laughs> Oh no, man, I feel really bad. I'm going to have to maybe find out where he was and see if I can help him out, perhaps. Because uh, that's no fun. Can't be letting someone rage quit. Um, but yeah, so we're going to probably add loads of detail. or we'll add, like, you know, the... What what's the, what are they called when you get the beer out of? The, the name's completely gone, but I'm sure you guys are going to post a million times in the comments. But yeah, anyway, I'm really, really happy with how this is looking so far. That completely distracted me as well. Uh, and I think what I'm going to do for the rest of it is time lapse it. We'll do this whole room first, and then we'll work on the downstairs separately, because that's not going to be as detailed as this area up here. Uh, as for lighting, I think what I've decided, and I'm not sure if I'm going to use wood for this or not, but I think what's going to look okay-ish is that. Now I know that that is, is something you don't do in Minecraft, like you just don't do this. You use a sea lantern, use glowstone, use whatever else you can other than a block and a torch. But I think if the torches go all the way around or on two opposite sides perhaps, that'll look more like a chandelier kind of deal. I think it's going to work, you guys are going to have to bear with me, I know it's not the most exciting looking thing ever, but I think a few of those around, a few bits of carpet on the floor with glowstone underneath will work, and also I think I'm going to add a floor pattern as well, perhaps with oak and spruce, but the furniture we're bringing in is going to be dark oak, because we need some definite contrast that matches this uh, as soon as possible, because right now 
there isn't much in the way of contrast going on. So let's get on with it. I'm going to go ahead and roll that time lapse. Before that, I'll go check if the zoom is okay. And uh, yeah, I'm excited about working on this room. I think it's looking uh, pretty okay right now. We just need to get some more furniture in here. Let's roll that time lapse. Sunset is setting over there. The sunset is setting. Well, that is why it's called a sunset. False GG, you're a genius. <laughs> anyway, I did get blown up out here earlier. Uh, and um, I don't know why. I guess this is because I record. Maybe you guys that also record videos might also know. But I have a keybind to start recording and stop recording. It's the same, it's the same button. And uh, I was recording a time lapse, but I, I went to click the button as if like I was meant to record, uh, which sometimes I do if there's something funny that happens like instantly. It's quite nice to have a little keybind to press to open and uh, basically start recording something quite funny that happened. And uh, I, I pressed stop record during the time lapse while I got blown up by a creeper, which wouldn't have been on this camera anyway, so you wouldn't have even seen it even if I did actually press start record. But yeah, it was just one of those funny little things that uh, I guess as someone that records videos so much, uh, you kind of get used to and you have kind of like a little, uh, you, you go for that button even if it's not going to work. But anyway, we've pretty much done the top level. Let's head in. I've, I've gone detail. I've gone detail again. I'm not sure about these. What do you think about these? Do these look weird? They looked okay in my uh, creative world when I was doing some, some, some uh, seats with those as the uh, the armchair thingy things but I don't know if they look too good now they kinda just stick out a little bit and look a bit funky but I don't know whatever uh, everything else though I'm pretty happy with I haven't however got this piano is meant to have keys on it there there are my rails I'm blind apparently I didn't I couldn't find those I was being blind I did there in my inventory I think I was because I was looking in the chest for them and we've got carpet behind here with some glowstone we've got a carpet here with glowstone carpet here with glowstone carpet here with glowstone because I really wanted to limit the amount of torches now I've got a feeling I need torches like here actually you know what I don't need torches there okay perfect perfect that sounds good to me uh, but yeah we've obviously got the seating area we've got the little entertainment area with the uh, the piano which you can't actually get on because there's a light above <laughs> Dang it, I can move the light over though. That might be a possible idea. But yeah, again, let me know what you think about the lights, guys. I quite like them. Uh, that, that'll that work, won't it? Yeah, then I can sit here and play the piano for everybody while they're all sitting and eating their... or drinking their beer. I don't know what they drink in 1880s. I don't know, beer, I guess. I've got some beer taps here. I'm uh, not sure if maybe I want to make those ones down there. Dark Oak, possibly. But other than that, I think I've done it. I didn't want to overdo it with paintings or anything. I did a few paintings, did a few little holes in the wall with stairs. One of my favourite things to do. It just definitely kind of mixes up the walls. And I think it's looking... I think it's looking pretty pretty nice. Uh, this bit over here looks quite dark again, though. Might have to double-check lighting. Lighting 7 here. Yeah, definitely need to light that area up there, possibly. That area up there. I'll put a few torches where we actually need to light the areas up. And then everywhere else looks okay. So maybe a couple more carpets and glowstone down could be an option. But yeah, I also changed the windows out, which... Mm, I didn't really want to t t touch the outside too much, as I mentioned. But obviously I've done that, that now. I've done the windows. Uh, I've added... Oh, why? Please leave me alone. Do not set me on fire. You set me on fire. That's okay, I can put myself out in one of these. But please, please. Oh, and now I'm not even on fire. Fair enough. Uh, we'll have to get inside before we get uh, completely covered in monsters. Actually, let's get inside now. But yeah, so basically I've got the corners, I've got the windows, we've got... Because I've done this, and that's also... I didn't realise the roof. 
I might go on the roof and put just half slabs of spruce down. That means he doesn't need to have loads and loads of torches up there as well, which actually might be kind of handy. But I thought changing the ceiling up might, was quite a nice little touch and having that this little uh, thing. But anyway, TFC can change whatever he fancies that I've added that I, he doesn't maybe like. Uh, it's just it's just how it's going to be. You know, everyone's got different styles and stuff. So, yeah. Uh, now we need to go down here, though. And with this one, I'm just going to go ahead and build it. I'm not even going to bother time-lapsing. I'm just going to go ahead and build it, have some fun, relax, put some music on, chill. But I'm going to do pretty much a similar thing. I'm going to go ahead firstly and then probably do something like this, make this a pillar. Just so that it kind of makes the whole room look stronger. Because at the moment, kind of, I guess that's what maybe it, that looks weird. I mean, these walls might look okay in a smaller house or building, but because this building's so massive, I think that... It definitely needs some kind of structure going on, some kind of thing to hold it up. Oh, I didn't realise that was the end. I got a feeling he wants to bring this back further anyway. I think he's got to do some more redstone at the back. So we can clean that up when he gets to it, I guess. Uh, or remove it if, if that's not going to be cleaned up. But yeah, I'm going to do a similar thing down here. Might change these even for... Let's actually try it on one. Let's try this. I know I know that TFC's a big fan of cobble, uh, mossy cobble, though. But that might work better. <laughs> Just for now. Hmm. I don't know. He can always change it back, I guess. That's that's the option. I feel like I'm, good, I'm designing stuff. And he, he, he'll have the stuff in a chest ready to put back if he needs to uh, do such a thing. Uh, and yeah, that looks awesome. I'm really, really happy with it. Let's get going. We The only thing we need to not touch down here is this. And also this in here. Because mobs and stuff. Yeah. But I'm excited, this was pretty fun to do so far. Let's go on and do this room too. That's it guys, the whole place is finished. I'm super, super happy with it. I think it looks great. I've half stabbed the roof because it was just really, really patchy. Uh, because everywhere on this floor where I've got these there and there, you could see the dark oak from the ceiling. So because so many people are flying over, uh, including myself, I thought I would do that. Also, I'm pretty sure that TFC is going to be adding a banner there saying Ace Saloon soon. So that kind of, I think, finishes off the front uh, quite nicely. And it means that the roof doesn't necessarily have to be lit up like a Christmas tree. Because um, that's the only problem with Minecraft is lighting, you know. just It's nice to not have lighting uh, just spammed everywhere. I know that... I try and do my best to not use torches as much as possible, so yeah. But anyway, uh, this is obviously what you guys have seen, but if we head down, uh, you will see that I've started even, even here, even here I've added a little bit of detail, I've added a little bit of fencing around this, not really tweaked much with this, I've tried to keep it exactly as it is, so the redstone shouldn't be broken. I know there were a couple of half subs there, which I'm pretty sure I made into half subs so that it wouldn't affect the redstone, so hopefully that's all good. Either way, TFC is, I'm pretty sure, a redstone genius like the rest of them on the server, except for myself, and I'm sure he'll be good. But yeah, no, I'm pretty sure I haven't broken it anyway. Uh, we've also got the cashier in here, just added a few little uh, trap doors, some fencing. I've mixed up the ceiling a little bit, added a bit of normal cobblestone and a little bit of mossy stone brick just to kind of give a little bit more of a uh, texture going on rather than a flat kind of texture I guess uh, mixing it up and I've also done the same here again with the dark oak I feel like that works really nicely to separate rooms having a different color ceiling other than necessarily using a different floor now I've got carpet along here now I was going to put ghost all the way along but I've just got it on either end there are still a few torches around the place just to keep the light level hopefully at the right level it shouldn't be spawnable Fingers crossed. I'm pretty sure I've checked everywhere and everywhere should be eight and above. But if TFC finds an area that he can just place another torch down and stuff. I wanted to put something on this wall here, but I'm not sure what. Maybe TFC will have some ideas about putting something to do with cards on here. Maybe he has some some ideas on that. I don't know, but I think I'll leave that there for like a little trophy wall or a poker wall. I don't know. And then this one, I thought this one went quite, quite well because like you could imagine he, like that arm holding a card or something. I thought that painting in particular worked well. Uh, he'd already built a bathroom down here, which I didn't realise until I placed the sign and was like, what's in this room here? And then there's a bathroom, which is cool. So I've left that as is. And other than that, I've got a little storage area here. I know that he's he had storage area there previously. I thought I would just kind of put it towards the wall. There is a, it, does, it does mean that there is a bit of a room here that isn't really doing very much, but I don't know, I'm going to say it's a bit of a dance floor, you know, if you want to boogie, 
there's a dance floor i don't know i don't know if that works but hey you can always add something in there but i'm super happy with how it turned out i hope you guys are too and i really really hope that tfc likes it because that's obviously who i've made it for um i'm not too worried about tips or payment um and it's all good he doesn't really need to pay me uh anything it's all good it's all it's all in good fun and yeah i've really really enjoyed working on this project uh dang it why does this look really dark here again is this what light levels is? Okay, no, it should be light enough. Might be only because it's daylight though. Dang it, Minecraft, why you have to be difficult? But anyway, I'm super happy with it. So I hope TFC is too. And that looks like it's that for uh, that. And I just need to get rid of this because I'm a dummy and left it there. GG. So all there is to do now is sit back and grab a drink at the bar. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Although, although I could, I could have some. No, <laughs> we're not gonna have anything to drink at the bar. It's not even open yet. We haven't. He hasn't even got some staff. He's he's got a cashier down the bottom. But I believe it will be there in the future. I believe Derp are handling that. Uh, I've made it actually nice and easy for them. I've got a little sign here. Villager access through the left wall. Because I think that's that's gonna be the easiest way to get a villager in here. They'll bring it down here, and then if they break through here, I can't break through where the sign is, obviously. <laughs> Dang it! I fell down. I held shift, and then just shifted off the off the block. That was brilliant. GG, false. You're an absolute expert at Minecraft. But yeah, you see that that's inside the cashier desk. So that's a nice, easy way for them to get in there. I even mentioned that him uh, mentioned that to Tango earlier uh, the other day. But yeah, there we go. I've done that. So everything should be now ready. I've taken my chest away. Uh, I've put a little sign up saying the spoilers in here for Thursday because it's when this episode is going to go live. Um, and what else am I doing live stream is actually do a little bit of clearing up around this area because I feel like there's like not much going on. There's like buildings which look great. All the buildings look wonderful and they all really match really nicely. But there's nothing in the way of like trees and stuff. Now this is my little area down here. Now I started adding a little bit of greenery and stuff. I've added a little uh, horse stable for Bullseye and his friend. Um, but yeah, there's not really much going on. There, the path continues down here. Uh, it doesn't actually reach uh, TFC's place. So I'll probably take it down there in live stream. Because we need to wait for the grass to grow and such. Uh, but yeah, I don't know man. It feels like there's not much going on. So maybe I'll hang out and live stream, build some trees, perhaps some trees that are a bit more broken down without leaves and things like that perhaps will work quite nicely. But yeah, I think this area just needs a little bit of TLC. I really enjoyed the episode. Thank you so much to TFC for the uh, opportunity to work in here. Hope you like it and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Remember to leave a like if you did enjoy, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See ya. When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.